this is Josiah with Robot and 3 Days Redux, and today we'll be looking how our prototype intake intakes cones and cubes and how it handles different um, orientations of the cone. This video on First Updates Now is made possible by viewers like you and also the following sponsors. At Kettering University, over 30% of the student population was in high school robotics. These same students have received a portion of over $7 million in scholarships. Scholarship applications for FIRST students are now available. Get more information at kettering.edu slash FIRST. SOLIDWORKS is free for FIRST teams. Over 80% of U.S. engineering schools and 370,000 plus companies use SOLIDWORKS to design great products. SOLIDWORKS can help you design a great robot on desktop or on the cloud. Go to SOLIDWORKS.com slash FIRST to register your team. So this right here is an intake that we wanted to design to pick up both cubes and cones and hopefully orient the cubes and the cones to one, one orientation so that our next input or the next part of our robot could take that and do something with it. So what we have here is we have our Anymark star wheels and uh, compliant wheels and then we have Omni wheels, uh, Rev Robotics and then another Anymark compliant wheels. And the idea is that the star and the compliant wheels will push it in, and then we have pneumatic cylinders here that will compress it and so we can pick up cones as it comes in. Um, and then if it comes in any orientation, we still open up and it picks it up. So now we will show you an example of how it actually works. And then also something to note is the thing that we really struggled with with these cones is there's about four orientations that the cone could be. It could be this way, it could be flipped, it could be uh, vertical and the other vertical, and then of course it could just be the kind of default uh, up and down position. And so with this intake, our goal was to get it either in this position or front or back vertical and then have something else behind our robot to kind of flip it up or do something when it's in this position. So we can go ahead and show what this looks like. Okay, so if, right now we'll just test it on the side and we'll just kind of push it in uh, and it just picks it up. Um, now we'll flip it, see what that looks like. Um, so it handles it also pretty well. Um, and then we'll just do a normal pickup, straight upright, and it also picks it up there too. Um, with this intake, you can also just go ahead and push it in and then we'll just use the new mags and you can also pick it up with it. So now if you would lift up, the pneumatics pick it up as well, which is kind of nice. So right now we're not exactly sure where we're going to go with it, if we're going to have this just be like a grabber to pick it up, or if we'll continue to send it through. But right now our two metal bars here kind of prevent anything going past that. So we're still kind of working through that. Um, we'll show two cubes here. We have an inflated cube. Go ahead and run. Handles it pretty well. And then we'll show a deflated cube. Uh, again, it also handles it pretty well. So we have a lot to work with here, and we're going to continue to test this and kind of innovate. And we're going to try to also make it a little bit smaller and less, less heavy for the real robot. Thank you for watching. Make sure to check out more content for Robot and 3 Days Redux on First Updates Now YouTube channel. This video on First Updates Now is made possible by viewers like you and also the following sponsors. SOLIDWORKS is free for FIRST teams. Over 80% of U.S. engineering schools and 370,000 plus companies use SOLIDWORKS to design great products. SOLIDWORKS can help you design a great robot on desktop or on the cloud. Go to SOLIDWORKS.com slash FIRST to register your team. Thank you to all of our suppliers and sponsors for the Robot in 3 Days Redux and Kettering Bulldogs programs.